Good morning guys and welcome back to the channel on this very cold January Sunday morning. Uh, doing a new video today, had a very exciting delivery this morning from Mr John Seal. That's Mr John Seal who runs Lotus Hardtops. Uh, he has made me a carbon fibre hardtop for my XE350S. Uh, I've been waiting a few weeks for it. Um, just over the Christmas period, so I was quite excited to get it. It was kind of my Christmas present to myself. And it's arrived this morning, and I've already fitted it. So let's have a look around. I'll show you around the product and talk a little bit about the installation, which is fairly straightforward. Very pleased with the quality of the product. It was a special order product that John did for me. His standard tops have a conventional one-way weave. I requested the V-weave, um, which you can see here, so that it matched the access panel on the front here, and in conjunction my custom arch vents, so everything's heading in the right direction, and a very similar weave pattern, and very similar colour and tone. I've just finished installing it, quick weigh in on the scales there, for you weight fanatics. Uh, original hard top 12.1 kilos, new hard top 6.4, so just under a 6 kilo saving there. Differences, fixtures and fittings are slightly different, also there's no fuzzy liner on the inside, although it is finished to a very high standard, which I'll show you in a moment, just plain black, smooth black finish. Some of the differences between the fixtures and fittings, we'll go over to the old hard top over here which obviously I've removed. In the new hard top, you no longer use this bracket here. That's not necessary. You just use effectively the corner brackets here and here. And there's two more up here. And then three bolts for the headliner here. You get a brand new headliner, which is made again out of smooth GRP material, finished in black, plain black to a very nice standard. And the quality of the product is fantastic and really happy to support a British business. So we're going to have a look inside now. I'll just show you around the fixtures and fittings. So the top comes with a complete set of hardware, really nice quality black anodized hardware. The original bolts that from your original hard top will unfortunately not work. So you do need to use the new hardware provided. I've left it semi uninstalled at this point in time. So normally, obviously the headline will go across this space here and cover up all these brackets. But I've taken that off for now. So we have this corner bracket here. I've used the original bracket here because it does fit, but you do get a new bracket from John. But the hardware is his because it obviously fits the threads. And the same on this side. Moving around to the back, we have the brackets that hook up here, hook into these plastic mouldings on the uh, cross member of the Lotus. And this bracket is all John's provided again with the hardware by him. So that's great. And there is a cover which bolts into this hole here and covers all these messy parts here. But again, I've left those off so you can see. All the rubber seals of a very nice quality. So generally extremely happy with the quality of the product. And in fitting with the slowly carb, slow carbon fiber takeover of my car. Things to note, despite watching a couple of YouTube videos, you will need some special tools, not just normal Allen keys. So on the original hard top, you'll get these hex head security bolts. Fortunately, my local screw fix, which is literally two minutes down the road, had a set of uh, adapters in. So I nipped down and got a set of those because otherwise I wouldn't have been able to get the hard top off. In the original fitting, they take place of the bolts in the corners here. And also the two center bolts in that rear tab that I just showed you that is no longer used 
in this particular fitting. So really happy with the quality of the product. Really nice quality weave. Planning on probably doing some custom paintwork to it at some point. Haven't quite decided what yet. I'm going to go back and see my friend Robin, who did these amazing arch vents, and see what ideas he can come up with just to make it that little bit different. So guys, that's it. My car increases its carbon makeup. And that's the end of the video for today. See you soon.